Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And today we're going to be covering what happens when you remove the auto publish package. Now this package is great for getting started, just like the unsecure package. However, what's not good is every time we're hitting the database saying resolutions, uh, find me some resolutions, it's returning all of them. What we want is a little bit more control over that so that no user in particular has access to resolutions that maybe aren't their own or just resolutions that they're not intended to be having access to. So by removing the auto publish package, we have to then set up publish and subscribe so that we can have access to that content. So right now we're going to get started and show you how to do that. Okay, so in the last video we removed Insecure. Now we're gonna wanna go ahead and remove another package. Uh, this one is going to be Remove Auto Publish. So we can say Meteor Remove Auto Publish. And Auto Publish is all one word. Now this is another package that comes with your Meteor installation. So uh, you never had to add it to have it. Uh, so we're gonna wanna remove it now just to make some things a bit more secure in your project. So what was happening before? Essentially when we called uh, dot .find on our given collection, it was returning every single option in the collection and uh, then that was being sort of handled on the client side. Now that's not necessarily great in a situation where you only want specific information to be available for specific people and you don't want to be able to call find on a collection and get every single option back. So what we've now done is removed auto publish. And if you come to our application, uh, just like when we removed some of the other stuff, um, it's going to be broken. So before it broke by not allowing us to actually interact with the site by adding uh, new resolutions or clicking around and, and updating our collection. Now it just simply can't find our collection. It just simply shows that it's not there. So how can we get our content back? Well, what we need to do is use Meteor Publish and Meteor Subscribe. So let's go ahead and uh, modify our code here. Now, this is just going to be a simple example. What we're essentially gonna be doing is replacing our client-side code with some server-side code. So let's go ahead and come to our Meteor is server section of the code that we haven't actually even done anything with. We have this dot startup, but that's not where we're going to come. We're actually gonna go just below that. We can run a meteor.publish method. So it's meteor.publish. Okay, and now inside of here, we're going to have quotes, and this is going to be the name of our collection. So we're gonna be publishing in lowercase resolutions. Okay, just like that. And we're going to then comma and have a callback function, which is uh, just a function. It's not gonna be passed anything. And just like that. So this function that's called here is just simply going to return our resolutions.find. So we can actually even come up right here where we said uh, resolutions.find. And let's just simply copy this like so. And let's paste in this and we can say return resolutions.find. And now that we have this here, we need to subscribe to this lowercase resolutions uh, for this to work. So let's come up top here and we can say, and right at the very top of our is client code, we can say meteor dot subscribe and then we're going to pass in this string here, just like so. So we're now subscribing to the data from the publication, which is calling a resolutions.find. What this allows to happen is now when we call resolutions.find and resolutions find checked, whatever we have here, uh, we're not going to get back nothing because we're subscribing to that data collection. So if we come back to our app, and again, the awesomeness of this uh, um, auto refresh that it does when you modify anything uh, is that our collection has returned. So here's our information. Uh, it's no longer completely uh, invisible. Even though we removed auto publish, 
uh, making our site just a little bit more secure and giving us a little bit more control. Now we haven't covered a ton of what that control is yet because essentially this application is functioning the exact same way that it was with just a little bit of a difference. But publishing and subscribing are really powerful techniques along with the methods that we used before for adding and removing content. So in the next couple of videos, we're going to dive more into with what you can do with publish and subscribe and what you can do to add more security in your website to prevent uh, perhaps people people from submitting things that shouldn't be submitting them. So check it out. These are just two things that you need to do to help make your site more secure. And while the benefits may not be obvious right now, once you start getting into more complex applications, especially stuff that's no longer just experiments and perhaps applications that people are using, you're going to see why you need this control. So more on that very soon. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tuts. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.